Hey you guys, what is going on? It is Clary Berry. I'm here today to bring to you the Divine Feminine Reading. Let us go ahead and... What do you think? There? Okay. I <laughs> hope you guys are doing well. Uh, this is going to be a good reading. I've had some good insights. Good stuff going on. Feeling connected. I hope you guys are too. Um, this is a general reading. Take what resonates, just what doesn't. You can use this as cross-watching. You can use this as uh, the divine masculine, or excuse me, feminine in your relationship, or you can just use it in the divine feminine part of yourself. So if say you happen to be, uh, you know, probably less common, but divine masculine watching the video, you know, you could obviously watch for your divine feminine or watch for the divine feminine side of yourself. Okay. We got meditate and contemplate again. Okay. New moon energy, not surprising, because we do have a really big new moon coming up. And this is a time to take this seriously. This is a time not to be, okay, spending all your time, you know, going out, partying, run, 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 you know, drinking too much, avoiding your feelings. Uh, always, you know, I'm just getting like shopping, going to this, going to the next thing, doing, you know, things that are always keeping you doing something else other than doing the work and what your soul is really trying to get you to do okay because you know we're scared and it feels you know we think it feels bad and we don't want to do it we or we think it's going to feel bad at least and uh you know or we think meditation is boring you know on some level you know i even used to hate the word meditation i would well i don't like i don't like the connotations you know and it's like okay get over yourself <laughs> just gonna be real honest with with y'all right there okay and it's okay right now is the best time to be able to say hey you know if you were wrong about anything to be able to admit it it will show others how to do the same right now okay you're being called upon to provide leadership oh my gosh like i am not surprised that this came out because i already knew from the pre-meditation today that the leadership right now i mean obviously we're in leo season our mercury is in Leo we've got a lot going on and you know when you think of you know these things when you think of Leo obviously you know you think of a leader so um, but it, you know and a lot of my videos lately even personal readings general readings whatever it's been veering towards this mission side mission side mission side getting into mission getting into that you know, job that you could maybe potentially see doing with your person someday, but right now, maybe not, maybe doing it by yourself now, or starting to even just brainstorm and think about it. And it's okay if you don't feel like it, but I want you to stay open to the possibilities of things like that, starting to present themselves, starting to, um, and, and here's what it is. And we talked about this before, but that the astrology is just so much that we're all going through it at the same time now, you know, is that we, well, I kind of just want to let it come out in the reading. I don't want to just explain it without this. So I'm just going to keep on going here, but I know it'll pop back up. So we got prosperity in reverse. So this is coming. Prosperity is coming to us. Your material needs are provided, will be provided as you follow your intuition and manifest your dreams into reality. Okay. As we follow our intuition, our intuition will lead us into healing and the healing that we do is going to help us learn how to help others. And how to even just inspire others. And it's all going to help you make your dreams come true. Okay? I want you to be open to the possibility that things are changing so vastly right now for your greater good. Your highest good. I want you to understand that even if things look bad on the outer world, when you're looking at your phone, which we need to do less of, obviously. When you're looking at the news, which we need to do less of, obviously. You know? These things are bringing our energies down, you know, but if we're going within, we get to set the stage. We get to be one with the peace. We get to be ourselves, you know, and we get to imagine what we want. <laughs> and that's very powerful. You know, people, people who say, you know, oh, the people who are daydreamers, you know, just don't, you know, it's just not reality. It, it's not useful. Not true. <laughs> It is. We've been getting this over and over again. Okay. This is this water energy going within using your um, emotions here to get what you want, to get the love and the bond that you want. Okay. We've got to be pure of heart truly. And the only way to truly be pure of heart is to go within, 
do the shadow work and then do the inner child healing work. You have to, you have to go through it. You have to do what you're supposed to do. We're all supposed to do it. We all have the dark and the light, the up and the down, the in and the out. Helping to learn how to, you know, I guess you can say conquer. I always, you know, hesitate to say that word, but it is what it is. So we're going to keep the six of cups for overlying uh, energy since it came out there. All right. So a little bit more kind of of this overlying inter underlying situation. Okay. So something changed. It seems like it seemed like with the mental energy, I mean, we're being pulled towards working on this. Okay, we're being pulled towards thinking about this. What do we want out of life? What we're kind of in this in the, in the middle, obviously, of big, 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 big change. Okay, big, big, big change. We're 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 having so much change that it's hard to process the changes that we've already been through, and at the same time, brace ourselves, prepare, etc. For the changes that are still coming. Going within is the absolute best way that you're going to be able to deal with these changes that we're going through. Okay, I've been saying this at least for a month with the way that this Mars energy is set up, with the way that a lot of the energies are. Come January, you know, there, there's a lot of change left in this year. I don't, you know, pe people keep saying, oh, what more can 2020, you know, stop with that energy because it's coming but also don't get sucked into this oh you know twitter astrology or the facebook where it's all the memes and let's you know oh it's it's so negative like with all this stuff that's going on it's just it, yeah you can say it's crazy it's crazy but and it's wild you know but just because things are shifting doesn't mean and just because things that seem hard at first you know look back at the way life goes and everything seems to work out. If you look at, you know, if you know the way that it works and the way that the cycles go, it's just another, it's just another cycle. Okay. That's why we do the inner work. That's why we go in and deal so that we don't trip ourselves up anymore. Do the shadow work, go to the shadow work playlist that I have here on YouTube and watch the playlist, okay? You guys can put this stuff on in the background and even if you're not fully paying attention to it, it will resonate with your subconscious. You can watch it again, listen to it again later. You know, I listen to uh, videos on my walks. I listen to them while I'm cooking and doing food prep and doing the dishes. Um, just taking a bath, like always trying to be, you know, inspired and going to that next level. Because again, the more that, you know, you stay inspired, obviously it's good for you and your life, figuring out, you know, new problems, new solutions to, new, to, to old problems and all this different stuff. But also being able to inspire others gives you a whole nother added, you know, layer of not only prosperity, confidence, opportunity, like everything put together, okay? So again, you're in a way just trying to kind of stay on top of the emotional healing that is like itching. It's like itching to be had. It's like, and if we don't do, if we don't deal with it, there's gonna be like a boiling point where all this change is gonna, it's gonna, you know, knock us off course more than we need to be. You know, we don't need to be knocked off course. Let's be efficient. I'm all about this efficiency. Okay. So it's like, it's almost like we're just like so ready. We're just like waiting. We're just like, how much longer do I have to wait? And I don't want you to, I, I want you to like literally think of the car ride. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? If you literally just sit there and focus on not being there, it's going to take forever. Right. Or if you're like in class and you're trying to get out of class and you're watching the clock or, you know, the whole, the obvious, you know, the water boiling, watching the pot boil is only going to make it take longer, you know? So don't, ha don't carry around that energy. Plus it just adds to that desperate. We can't have desperation. Now here's the thing. People get confused sometimes because it's like, oh, you can't have, you know, competition. Well, you can have a little bit of competition, but you just can't let it get to that point where it becomes anything else. But you know, you purely trying to 
do, you know, the best thing that you can do to be selfless and help others and to be generous and to be kind, okay? To be able to use all your gifts for good, you know, that is what we're here for. And when we're all starting to do that, we're all starting to shine our light. We're all this whole like timeline scenario that we're going through right now. Obviously, everything is shifting. Everything in the stars right now, shifting. Huge Saturn energy shifting. You know, Saturn doesn't change that often. And it changed this year. And, you know, people are shifting on an inner level. They're shifting on an outer level. And the reality is swirled up. And it's going to, the chips are going to, you know, fall where they lay, where, where they may. <laughs> um, but we can have an effect on, again, how that's going to happen. It's, yeah, it's going to be a crazy year, remember? Okay, we get that. Let's, let's find a new phrase, you know? How are we, you know, how are, let's find a new focus. And again, this is coming through with mission big time and becoming a leader. And this is, I already knew this is what this was going to be about. Look at this beautiful, and it, it's helping us to heal. The more, it's like the more you know something or the, you know, when they say when you know something, uh, if, if you think you know something, try to explain it, you know, to a five-year-old. And if you can't explain it simply, then you really don't know it. This is that energy. We've got to get down to the nitty gritty, to the brass tacks. We've got to, a lot of people right now, and this is great energy that we have in this world. A lot of people doing the same exact thing as us here, you know, the, in this community. We're all part of the bigger collective, but we're all, you know, having these different ways of dealing with it. And, but we're finding our fire we're finding in this all this extra long time with Mars you know in Aries like that's self-identification who are you really and do your actions match do your actions match who you you know really think you are again I always go back to the most obvious example for that the animal lover who thinks they're an animal lover but are they really if they're eating animals okay it's making sure that it's immaculate. Your ethics right now, your inner and your outer, your purpose and your drive and your actions, all of it, it's immaculately lined up in alignment so that you are following through with what you say that you want. We're being tested um, kind of on our commitment in a big way. And this is the thing, don't give up. There's this big also message of hope coming through in the pre-energy as well. Do not give up. Even if you feel miles, light years away from your person right now, this is the time to go deep within and to know that everything happens for a reason. And just the fact that you have this twin flame, that you have these feelings that you do it's amazing and it's an amazing teacher. Okay, so let's go ahead and dive in a little bit deeper, a little bit deeper, always going deeper. Okay, so we're gonna see how you're thinking, feeling about your person, okay? So you're thinking it's kind of like wishing, 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 you know, you're really wanting this progress, you're wanting this bond to happen, okay? But again, it's almost like you're, you've wanted it, you've wanted it so much, it's like nauseating now at this point. <laughs> it's like you might have tried to force it, you know, a lot of us do in a, in a lot of different ways have been trying to force it. And now, again, it's like maybe a little break, maybe a little, oh, again, a breaking point. This is, I mean... I am going to be real honest, you know, in a way, this energy that we have, especially surrounding this new moon, not only this new moon, but the six month cycle that's coming after this new moon, this is a big new moon, not a you know, regular new moon. Okay. Six, six, you know, weeks. Okay. This is more like the six months. And again, it's one of these things where by come next year, when the new year comes, it's going to be what we do now what we think, how we think about our person here, okay? Do you think that your life is gonna be good only with them? That's a lot of pressure to put on somebody. And energetically, they're gonna feel that. 
That's why we have to do the healing. And the healing on some level, really, you know, is just about realizing who you are and waking up to that fact that you don't need anybody, not even your twin flame, okay, to live this life and to follow through on your purpose, okay? But the beauty is that when you understand that, that is the paradox. That is when you are free. That is when you can, you know, and I brought this up a couple weeks ago too. It's like the, the uh, old, old adage of when you're finding love, when you're not even looking for it, you know, that's the, once we let go of trying to control everything so hard, once we just let things fall into place and that takes detachment, that takes stepping back here. Okay. And it's going to take a lot of focus and again, aligning your thoughts, holistic law of attraction. Okay. Going in and doing the shadow work, going deeper in our child healing, continuing on with the law of attraction, making these things a lifestyle. That's why I put them in the program together in my video program. Check the description box below. Holistic Law of Attraction, Shadow Work, Inner Child Healing, they work in synergy to get you into union with yourself and that will, by proxy, get you into union with your person, okay? This is all about stripping the layers, the things that we've attached to over the years that we don't need, those outdated, untrue thoughts, beliefs, and expectations. We are rising above them and we are creating, with this is... We've been getting a lot of, you know, this creative energy lately, okay? This is creating who we are and letting go of old parts of us that we know we've had nagging feelings. We've maybe been really trying to get rid of some bad habits and, and it, this is a good thing. And if you constantly feel, I think there's a lot of energy right now. I just, and don't say stuff like this. I just don't know if I can take any more. You know, people say stuff like this just to make conversation. We have to change our language. Your it's why it's called spelling is because you're casting spells by what you not only say, but also by what you're allowing yourself to think. And we have to understand we have a choice. Now I get it that there are certain thoughts that will just pop into your head, especially if you leave yourself open. But over time, you can absolutely and should be training your you know, brain basically to be you know, calming down, thinking positive thoughts, getting rid of old ones. Again, we're getting with this program that I have, getting to these root causes of some of those negative thoughts that'll pop up. So you kind of go in, it's like, it's like a mess. You know, you gotta, you gotta lift the rug up, sweep under the rug. You know, you can't just sweep around the rug and help pretend the room's clean. I mean, come on. Okay. So we're feeling this, we're feeling, you know, and it can be like an ominous energy, like, oh, you know, I really have to do this, you know? And, and again, it's this make it or break it time. We have to step up to the plate right now. We've put this off too long. This is the divine timing. This is where the stars are aligned. This is where we have to follow through with what we've started, but also Again, some of us may not even really be understanding where we're coming through, like with this mission side um, and being a leader here. But again, don't worry about that because what you're already doing is helping you. What you're already doing is healing you. And by that, through that healing, then you will know, you will find out, you will uncover, okay? I'm here to assist you in that process. Everything I do here is to help with that, okay? Because I went through this process. I understand how valuable it is. It's far more valuable than the $10 only that it is right now on special this year, okay? For this crazy year. <laughs> you know, here I go again. Crazy year, crazy year. Crazy good. You know, and I get it. It's It sounds insensitive. You know, people are suffering. How I can still create my reality. And my reality says crazy good. Okay? So every time you go to say, oh, this is crazy. Now you're going to say crazy good. Crazy good. And that's the vibe. That's that bliss bubble we're putting ourselves in. 
our imagination. This is that Pisces energy. Use it, the imagination to guide you. Use the holistic law of attraction. When you meditate, when you do the shadow work, you will position yourself in a way to be more in tune with what it is that you are supposed to be doing with your life. All of us, a lot of us have this nagging feeling going to work every day, doing these things, you know, oh, at that that's not what we really should be doing with our life. And that's not a fun feeling to have. And that's kind of also where we're going because you guys, I don't know if you've been following some of the outer astrology, you know, I tend to do the more personal planets, but the outer astrology is huge. It's still huge. And it was huge just coming up to into this year. But I'm here to tell you things are recreating themselves and it's good. Again, don't steer away from people who are saying that the that this is a negative. Astrology in, in itself is not negative or positive. It help, just helps you understand, right? So, but when you have what, you know, what's going on right now even is not a negative thing. It's here to help us. It's to help us uncover, you know, if you can always keep that perspective and know what the purpose is, you can work with the energies rather than be working against them or saying, oh, you know, it's like, oh, I don't like this. This is different. It's like, you know, little kids are like, oh, I don't want to eat this. I've never had this before. It's gross, you know, and it's like they're just eating it because they've never had it before and it looks different from what they're used to. And if you can get them past that, then there's no problems. You know, they're like, oh, yeah, this is good. I like it. Um, Oh, kitty cat, what you doing? So anyway, um, let's, let's, so anyway, to summarize this, how we're feeling about our person, I think is kind of changing how we're thinking about our person. It's like, again, we used to think of them as like this, almost like a savior person. And we're shifting that into, um, you know, I still respect you. I still love you. I still, you know, want to be friends, whatever. Um, but not necessarily that needy type of, um, you know, traditional mindset of what you maybe you used to think, sort of. Okay. And as far as how you kind of feel, how you're feeling about your person, you definitely are feeling very strongly, obviously, that, you know, you're, they're your twin flame and you have a lot of passion for them. Um, it's kind of like, there's a little bit of behind the scenes action. Like, oh, I have a lot to tell you. I have a lot to, to show you about, and I'm looking, you know, kind of almost like looking forward to when I, when I can do that. And, um, that might be sooner, you know, rather than later as well. Just keep, again, keep on doing the work. And again, you, you make these and, and you make, not only if you do see each other sooner, uh, it's more meaningful. Okay. So cutting away some of the things here so important and again you're f as far as how you're feeling about your person you know again you may be scared and worried and you know oh maybe this time it's 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 not gonna you know come back maybe this time it's not gonna be okay you know whatever th whatever that energy is okay don't let that again just it's all for a reason it's all for a reason. It has to happen. And deep down, you know that already. That's why you're, that's why you, you're here at the point that you are. Okay. This is do the work. This is do the shadow work. Okay. Because we have things we need to let go of. Okay. And in the relationship together, you know, we know our person does too. We know they have work to do. And it's been said, you know, with twin flames, it's like they will be kept apart. The energies will keep them apart until they have done, gotten to the points, you know, that they need to, especially once they, once they start in on, you know, the process, because you get to a point where you can't run, you can't hide and you can't freaking pretend anymore. You just can't do it. And that's what 2020 is about being real, being, you know, it's, it's, Okay, hindsight is twenty twenty. It's seeing clearly. Perfect vision. Okay? Knowing where we messed up 
accepting the fact that we drew certain circumstances to ourselves, but that gives us the power to know that we can change the future. So again, check out the Law of Attraction playlist, the Shadow Work playlist, and again, Holistic Law of Attraction down in the program to start it off. It's really good stuff. Um, the Holistic Law of Attraction, Shadow Work, again, they all work together. So really, really important. Alrighty. So, wow. A lot of passion here about this relationship. Okay. A lot of passion. Okay. Really important. All in reverse. Really, really, really important. Okay. So, sorry, I just need a little sip here. Okay. Woo. Get all this up here. Okay. So, 10 of wands. Interesting. Another 10. Again, that in, be in between. In between. We're in the in-between state right now. Things are changing. We've been, we've been on a road, you know, and we know there's also going to be a road ahead, you know, a long road here. And that it is what it is, you know, that's life for you. And that's good. That's when you have the intimacy and are going on a, you know, a long journey of life with your person, you're going to have ups and downs. That's just the way that it is. Some people get so scared of, you know, drama and this and that, that's just life. You, you live a decade with a person, psh, you know, that's how long I've known my twin flame over 10 years now. We've been, um, twin, we've been twin flames. <laughs> yeah. We don't really do other labels, so it's just one of those things, but it's like the 10 year thing Like you change so much. Of course, you're going to have, you know, some kinds of, again, ups and downs and they're making us stronger. They're definitely they're They, they make the love stronger. And I think part of you is recognizing that part of you is really identifying with that process this year, you know, that you are so lucky to have had the experiences that you've had already with your twin flame. And you know, it's not over deep down, you know, passionately in a fiery sense inside of you. It's like you're, when they say like, your blood burns for them, or d does anybody say that? I don't know. But I just said that. And that's what it is. It's like your blood is like literally on fire for your person deep, deep down. Okay. Even though we may be kind of stifled, we, it, again, it's not like, oh, you know, necessarily getting this, uh, gratification. Um, because again, we're having to work, we're having to do a little work here. We're having to work for it. Okay. We really, really want to get somewhere, obviously, but I mean, it's like you, it, if you want something done, you got to do it. You got to, you got to put the time in, you got to put the energy in, you got to show up to go up. Okay. And that's what we're doing. Okay. That's what we're doing here. That's why we're going within you deep down. You know, it's the answer. Okay. To go within. That's why you're here. That's why, and that's what like, yes, you're in the right place. You know, you're doing the right thing. You are on the right track here. You are on a journey. Okay. And again, it may feel like you're, you know, going this way and going that way. And is this even what we want anymore? And da, 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 you know, don't give up on the work. Don't give up on your person. I feel like if a lot of people, I feel like a lot of people are, if they give up on their person, they're going to give up on the work. Okay. Even if you really need to give up on your person, I see a lot of people because you see in my mind, I think about things and I describe them in a real optimistic sense. But also if, if you just need to, and you feel like you need to say it that way, like you need to give up on your person right now, then you give up on your person right now. If you want to say it like that, you know what I mean? Because that is the energy we need to, they need to have that. It's that it's tough love. They need to have a, t a little bit of tough love. And if it makes you feel lonely to be out on this journey by yourself, right? It's, you're not alone. You're just getting better. You're just out on, you're just out on vacation, darling. <laughs> Again, it's like this finding finding yourself, going deeper, you know, becoming a, you know, oh, I'm not that you're not, whatever you are. I don't know. <laughs> don't know. Doesn't matter. Oh, goodness. Okay. So we know that the relationship 
is important, okay? We know that it's honing us. It's sharpening us like a fine tune, like a tool. You know, it's just getting better and better with each stroke, okay? Each day. We have this purpose. Our purpose, again, it's not, it shouldn't be, oh, I'm gonna do this work today. I'm gonna do this work just for my person. Because again, then you get mad at your person and you don't care and you're not gonna do any more work. You do the work for yourself, okay? So when you feel like, oh yeah, you want your person, you're feeling that pull, then you do some work because you're feeling the pull. You know that's the best thing for your relationship. And then when you want, oh, why don't you feel that pull of, what do I wanna do with my life? You know, then you go do some work, some shadow work, some uh, holistic law of attraction, learning, you know, watching the program, uh, practicing the program, putting it into practice, how I show you very tangible, very uh, concrete, you know, practices and what to do. Easy to, okay? To create a new world. It's not just, oh, find a mission so it's something that you can make money at. This is literally changing the structure of authority and leadership in the world. That we're able to claim this right now. That is what I think a lot of people aren't really fully understanding and at a level. I can't understand it. None of us can fully understand what's happening. We can just look for the clues, like we do, <laughs> like we do, okay? Understanding the purpose, understanding the purpose of the journey, okay? Obviously, the bigger picture of enlightenment and, you know, having that in the back of your head, being your higher self, okay? Shining your particular light. It is necessary. And that is when we're doing the inner child healing and we're, and we're it's the end of the road, you know? You're dealing with whatever trauma happened to you. And you're really in there working with it. And you realize you can change it. You can't change necessarily what happened. But you can change certain things. You know, how you remember it. How you, what you, what you take from it. You can control that. And that means a lot. Okay. It's just the simple difference between the victimized person, you know, saying I'm a victim, I'm a victim, or, you know, rewriting the story themselves as I am a freaking survivor, damn it. You know, like that's all it is in, in a very obviously watered down. Um, but, but some of the things, I mean, we have to go deep down. We have to really get in there. We have to use the shadow work to get us in there, you know, and then we have to go deeper because <sighs> that's kind of what mucks us up is these old thoughts, beliefs, feelings, expectations that we don't deal with. We bury them so far, so far down and that does not do any, that's how we got to this point because we were on, you know, we're on the wrong path. You know, we were burying is definitely the wrong path. <laughs> That's why we meditate, you know, because we let what's going to bubble up, you know, what's going to bubble up? Well, we're going to deal with it, whatever it is. You know, we're not going to ignore it. You ignore problems, they get worse. Okay. So that is beautiful. Now, remember, if you want a personal reading, just uh, check the description box below. Um, if you are ever watching a video and you ever want the most up-to-date pricing, just go to the most recent video. Okay. And the description box of that video will have the most up-to-date prices. Okay. So we got blockages and we got solutions. Okay. So we've been saying this. Okay. Big, big, big. Well, this is, this is, this is too easy for blockages. Okay. Okay. The new beginning. We've been waiting on actually, again, kind of acting it out, following through, following through. It's like we've been, oh yeah, dreaming about it, talking about it. But when it comes to following through, that's the hard part, right? Not anymore. Okay. Maybe not yet, but we're going to get this done. Okay. We're going to deal with this tower moment once and for all. Okay might be the tower moment, you know, like the original tower moment. The original tower moment is like, that's the one you got to deal with. You got to deal with it eventually. You don't have to start with it necessarily. I, I am a big fan of building up, taking it slow at first, <laughs> getting used to what you're doing, you know, just dealing with whatever pops up first, really. Um, but again, check out the shadow work playlist. And then again, check out the description box below for the program. We have this huge new beginning. Okay. And figuring out what to do with ourselves during this new beginning. 
okay how to how to react how our initial reactions you know are are following through how we're working it out okay that's kind of it, it's just natural that we have to take that focus it's like when you're you know when you're walking across the tightrope trying not to fall you know you can't really think about anything else you're just thinking about that so it's kind of like that same energy all your concentration all of our concentration is just on this new beginning, on this change, on acting in new ways, okay? That might be literally, again, kind of creating this tower moment or, you know, whatever we have, the um, tower moment, you know, from hell that just keeps coming back and back and back and back and back, okay? But focusing on the tower moment only to the extent that our healing needs us to. But look at this. We got not only one lion here, we got two. And this is like the male and the female lion. So this is really, to me, comes as the male in or the divine masculine and the divine feminine. And these both look like bald eagles flying too. So there's like a whole freedom thing here. Okay. Being able for each party to stand alone. And this really, you know, it's so Aries. Oh my gosh, we have so much Aries uh, coming through with this Mars and Aries energy, okay? Defining who we are. We're both gonna be shining our light here, okay? One might be shining their light brighter in the beginning, but the other one is eventually gonna get theirs to shine at the, the same, you know? And this is gonna, it's, it's about right action. It's about if you're in, in alignment internally, you know, here, Sorry, it's a little bit wiggly. I need to fix that. Um, then you're going to be making, you're going to be doing the right things. You're going to be following through, acting in the right way. Again, it's the inner it, and the ethics and everything of the outer and the inner. Acting in the way that your higher self really truly knows that you deserve. Before, when we would take things, when we would take, you know, and if it comes up to bring abuse and your twin flame is abusing you in any way, shape or form, it's not your twin flame keep on, keep on moving, you know, keep on doing the work. If you have a twin flame that you think is your twin flame and then you realize they're not, doesn't matter. Okay. False flin, twin flame. Just the fact that you're on your twin flame journey and learning about the twin flame shows that you're closer. Okay. Shows that you're on the right track and you can already do some of this work before you even necessarily maybe even meet or even understand that somebody is your twin flame. Okay. But this being strong, following through with this independence right now, okay, this freedom, this is about independence, being able to stand on your own, on your own two feet, you know, in life, okay, we have our own purposes, our own drives. I always say like when you're more beautiful, when you're doing something you love, it's that energy, okay. This is not a time to mope and sit around and, you know, focus on, oh, the, you know, this and this and that. If you do it, it, yeah, it'll let it lead you to the work. If you're thinking about, if you can't get, you know, your, your tower moments and, and negativity off your mind, then truly deal with it. Just deal with it. Just do the shadow work. Okay. Again, Shadow Work playlist here. Twin Flames Talks playlist, very, very helpful. Okay, do not give in. Do not give in to going back to old ways. New beginnings here. We're following through with a new beginning and making sure that this habit of tower moments that we come to like have over and over is done, truly done. We're truly free from all that because now we're putting ourselves first. Now we actually care about ourselves enough and love ourselves and give ourselves that self-care and self-love. Okay. So that we can actually give.